want everyone to know that this took 15 minutes to get this shirt on and get it buttoned up. So. You ready to do some work now? Or? I'm tucking it in first. You don't need to tuck it in. <laughs> we ain't going to the prom. Come on. Yeah, but like... Come on. Push it up against that cut guide. No, there you go. And you're going to have to scoot your pipe. Stand over. Okay, now bring her down slow. Okay. Make sure to make sure to drop the orange. Drop that down a little. Right now. The hand will be crank it down a little. Other right. Go ahead and measure. I'm not quite sure why this is so funny. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go ahead and lay the base plates out. Give ourselves a crow's foot mark about five eighths off each edge. I went ahead and put two of them on there so I was sure that they were square. And then after I get those laid out, I'm gonna take a center punch and a hammer, give them a whack. Then I'll take it over to the iron worker. So I'll get those holes all punched. Then we'll take our piece back over to the table and show you guys how I transfer punch them. So this is another method that will save you a lot of time. So that set right there on the table, that's a transfer punch set. And I'll just clamp my piece that's already punched on top of the work piece that's not punched. Tap it with a hammer, get it nice and centered. Then I go through and find the right size transfer punch. I want to make sure it's nice and snug in there, no slop. Give them a whack. There you go. Okay, so Bridger took the base plates over to the Burr King, and I gave him a little lesson on how to round the corners on those. He got those knocked out. Uh, we had a few issues with video on this one, so we weren't able to get the video of finishing out the handrail, getting the base plates tacked on. But we were able to get them knocked out. They turned out good. We took them up to Powder Coat the next day. Powder Coat had a one day turnaround. So we picked them up the following day, took them over to the house, and we started getting them ready for install. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I lay out my base plates. So I've got my base plates all punched, rounded the corners, and then I just take them and put them on the edge of the table here, clamp them down, and then 
Here's another pointer for you guys in fabrication. I see a lot of guys that are on YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff and they're trying to mark their stuff with a piece of soapstone like this. That's not very sharp so you can't get real precise with it. So I take my soapstone and sharpen it to a point and I just use my bench grinder, your angle grinder, or whatever you got to use but it makes you a lot more precise if you can get a nice point like that so that you can lay stuff out. Okay, so then I take my tri-square here and I've got it marked just under an inch because I want an inch square. And I just take my mark there. gives me my perfect square to go tack onto the bottom of my railing. Okay, so we're heading up to go install the handrail right now. We gotta swing by Home Depot and grab some hardware, but hopefully we'll be able to put this one to bed today. That's what we're hoping for. Stay tuned. Okay, just up here to the old house, just wanted to give you guys one last look. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, this was a pretty tough job just because the construction was so old, but I think that's going to wrap this video up. So thanks for watching. See you next time.